Apollo 8, Houston, uh, what does the old moon look like from 60 miles? Over. I couldn't have thought of a better time to orbit the moon at the end of the year 1968 than to go to the moon for the first time. If there was ever a year America needed to patch up its self-image, it was 1968. I just want to do God's will. Dr. Martin Luther King had been assassinated in the spring. A few months later, Bobby Kennedy would also be cut down by an assassin's bullet. Americans had taken to the streets in violent protest against the war in Vietnam, and Chicago was shamed. We have left off. The nation got that much needed morale boost on the tip of a massive Saturn rocket. A thunderous blast that would launch a new era in space exploration and reassure a vulnerable nation. I don't think anybody at NASA or the crew at the time that we planned the flight, which was on the 21st of December, really thought that we would go into orbit around the moon on Christmas Eve. The real reason for the urgency of the December 21st launch, the Soviets were winning the race to the moon, a place no one had ever been. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. The danger was a given, but on Christmas Eve, the timing had raised the stakes. The possibility of a catastrophic accident on this night was unthinkable. You didn't personally think about the risk involved? Sure, there was risk, but the reward of going to the moon for the very first time uh, in the as an explorer uh, was uh, well worth any kind of a risk that we had.
a place to call. We're standing by. We've heard nothing yet, but uh, we're standing by. Apollo Control, Houston. Uh, we're looking at engine data, and it looks good. Uh, tank pressures look good. Uh, we have not talked yet with the crew, but uh, we're standing by. I, we've got it. Uh, we've got it. Apollo uh, 8 now in, in lunar orbit. Uh, there's a chair in the, this room. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, switching now to the voice of Jim Lovell. All of you. 